Never had that problem. Let the left go, John. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Bones Island trying to break down Blakeney off the bounce. A lot of playground games in Wilmington, Delaware growing up. Hopping into the lane, floating it up, and in. Beat. But look at the way they're coming back in transition. They look to see if they get it to Highland again. They won't. It's Ace who pulls up. Bones with the rebound and put back. Bones Island is smooth as ice. Off the ball screen, another great defensive play with the block. Yeah, the Son Ward with the block. Ooh. Highland with the hesitation. Big step into the Ooh. paint. Gets the layup to go. They may, they may have to put him in some ball screens again. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Deal. They're a great perimeter defensive team. Kick action. And uh, Brady just can't knock it down. Well, Brady did a heck of a job there cutting off Bones Highland. Who had a, a path to the basket, but he found one. Triple ball. Oh, bad pass against the grain of the lane. What a spin by Highland. One-on-one -on -one curl. About the pressure that we put on full court and all of our full court defenses. But we, I think that we're pretty good. Like he's able to run at least a little bit. Flips it down. The don't look to go early in the shot clock. Again, don't turn it over. But try to go inside out. And there it is. 26 minutes, a long way to go. Fly, just got to play good defense now. Rebound the ball and run. Highland deep. He's made a low oh. Fires over top Brown Jones. And another rebound. That is eight first half boards. And an assist up ahead. Of he did have a two mixed in there. So it might have been the last five threes. And there's another three from Bones. I think it'll be a lot of fun to watch later on. Here's Bones Highland. And he has an aim. And the rebound falls down to VCU. Advance pass Highland. Jerry Pickford. And here comes Bones Highland pushing it. Crosses over Halverson and lays it up. The ball out of Bones Highland's hands and get the ball in tier on the other end. Get how deep Bones Highland is. Haven't seen him for a good 14 minutes. Went out over 16 minutes to go in this first half. Now Highland reversing. For all, a good job by Dayton in that first half. In an early turnover. I like the fact that he can run, but is there tipping it? Ooh. In and grabbing a hold of it is Baldwin Jr. Here's a three-point bid on the ECU. Highland launches. An offensive board, but VCU comes up with it. Highland pulls up. Heat check. Got it. And VCU up ahead. Highland. Looking for the lead. Jack O'Mara in the final three minutes of this contest. Bones Highland bid for a one-point lead off the glass. No good. A second chance now upcoming. Highland's got it. A three ball. Got it. Ball stolen by Bones Highland. Nice pass to Trey Clark. With their teammates, they can't go out and socialize, so it's difficult to get. Well. Lindo with a dangerous pass. Bones Highland takes it away, and he's in front of everyone. They kept the ball alive and got it back. And then when he got the rebound, he brought it down to his chest and got it deflected. But fortunately for VCU, they didn't lose it. They oh, what a move. Six makes it a tough matchup. Exactly. There's Highland drives on green. Layup is good. Bones Highland off the Stockard screen. Steps back. He's going to pull up for a three early. He checked for eight. Brother Jerome Robinson of Boston College fame, also in the NBA at the Wizards. Sam Ward's able to save it. Highland for another deep three. This one's good. You got Not many secrets, but you try to learn. Here we go. BCU, three of 12 from three point range. You can't time it any better than that with your set play. And the lead is 12. Bones. That's a hard block by Hassan Ward. Here's Highland, left side of the lane, sweeps it and lays it. Has an assist on each made basket so far. It's only eight made baskets. But they have an assist on each of them. Highland going to the basket, tried to get rid of the basketball, and he got a little left. Stop. The other team stopped making shots. Pull up jumper for Highland, it's good. Here's Ace Baldwin. Kick it back, get our first real look at Bones High. And they do. That's Chapman throwing it away. And now a run for Highland and High. Here's Bones. In the lane. Pull up. By going up against that many points off transition, that many turnovers, they would be. Here's Highland again. Good choice in this game. That's Medley Bacon out there. Bones with the back cut up and under. Shout out that one from Washington Heights. Look, that, that's exactly the problem. Like, why would you do that? Turns into three points on the other end.
back there. Been a quiet day for Miller thus far on the four point. Highlighted here, this is a slow tempo game, which really is a favor to the the defense here. Hadzi. Um, which isn't, you know. Yeah, high screen and roll is their best play in ISO. Highland, mid range by VCU, turning over. It's long. Good rebounding effort by Brown Jones. That gets a second look from by Douglas. Hassan Ward scares people down low. He intimidates people. It's just He's a second defender. Gilliard's a guy that did declare for the NBA draft. Good spin move. Three for seven to start the second half for VCU. There's the lob down to Highland and Bones. And the rebound down to Watkins. Nice look ahead. VCU. Part of recruiting is evaluated. And Mark Schmidt does an incredible job of identifying players that can coach against, to recruit against. And the success that they had uh, was unparalleled. On his uh, sheet there as Lofton misses on the three. It's almost like he would make a great offensive coordinator in football, don't you think? With probably all the plays and stuff he has. He's got a was saved barely. Chuck locks down a launch with numbers. Highland trail stolen. Baldwin. Highland awkward in a turnover. Highland. Highlands. Highlands. But the Rams of URI struggled to move the ball against a very difficult Fordham team. Offensive with hands from a sophomore. That's great awareness from Mikel Mitchell, right? He's underneath the hoop. It's difficult to get a read to where you are. He just looks up. Go Walker lost the handle. It's stolen. Up ahead. Highland's got one man to beat. Look out below. About the offense of VCU driving in and a nice little. Once he logs some minutes, he's, he's, he's a tough guy to come up with the rebound. He said the uglier the game, the better it is. Presence, so they got to score in transition, score off dribble penetration. And there's the block, Ward denying Shamanga despite the size difference. And number four from outside. Highland wants the isolation against Domseal. Take the three. Make double. Great pass. Ward didn't feel it coming. Step into a three. Highland. Well, maybe Watson drops it down. Highland other end for three on the glass. Curry on high. Bank off. Tip controlled by VCU. Step into it. They're playing a little zone action there. They're running that baseline runner action. Shot clock winding. Ward wants it inside. Highland comes free on 15. Sitting pretty on the road. Now the double lying in wait. Highland deep. Bones Highland against Matt Moyer. Partially blocked by Williams, and he gets the rebound. Good results getting the ball in the post on the Rhode Island offense. Driving it in, throwing it up. He's going to allow you, and you have to adapt. That's part of the game. Highland from and that time, Fats Russell was trying to say, Hey, you did one, I'll do one. He's gained some separation here. Those two star players, Highland for VCU, and now. That's Russell for Rhode Island. He Icing on the cake. Here's Highland, the only source of offense his second half. A little runner in the left. Head coach Dave Paulson. Yeah, because he's mostly been a man-to-man -man coach throughout his career. But as you see, the shot clock. Highland now sizing up Johnson. Drives into a girl. The floaters. What happened, with long, with, what happened sometimes with long threes. Highland now a step through. Nice. And they pitch it around. Island now chased off the three-point line by Johnson and then lays nice it home right and right. Yeah. So 0 for 10 now on the season is Zadar. Highland behind the screen. Long three is good. VCU a little bit better than the Minutemen. And the Minutemen don't have bones. Highland. Highland on the drive. Lays Cameron Brown. Cam had only shot what was 12% coming into this. After Cam is a starter pretty much all of last year as for Demir Bishop that career high continues to rise Highland off the cross and the mid-range James Madison is an easy bucket. Yeah, wouldn't transition nice job. There's a deep shot from Bones early Trinity Episcopal Little hometown game for Jacobs Doesn't play a whole lot pull up air for eight of uh, 20 now uh, from the free-throw line. That's terrible. Yeah, that is rough. That's There's a nice 
Williams, another guy who's shown great improvement this year. He's healthy, which helps a lot. Great shape, too. There's Bones Highland driving it for two. Big time sophomores, too, like Clark and this guy, Bones Highland, of course. Here comes Bones. He's going to pull up and take a three on the break, and he's going to drive. By Baldwin, not like him. Yeah, good job by Ward to get the offensive rebound. Here comes Bones for an easy two. Nice Bones, but good defense by Western Carolina. They're not They're keeping him much. in front of him. Here's a tough three for Bones, but he buries it. That's a big deal in this game. Bones Highland for another three. He's already got fifth. Drive by. Oh. Defensive issue tonight has been what we just saw there, which right. is the turnovers. And here's Bones Highland. No question. Getting to play off the ball. There he goes again and buries. And that's something teams are going to have to do this yep. year. You've got to create your own energy. There's Phil, Georgia. And ODU started its season. That road loss Ron mentioned it in three games. He said so far so good, but a small sample size. On the offensive boards too many times. That time it was one guy surrounded by three Monarchs, and he just outworked them for the offense. And coughed it up. Highland eyeing up three. Got it. Program shutting down, so you're trying to get as Every team's trying to get games in. Strong move by Bones. Highland with it. Drives it, dishes it. Ward missed it. Highland's going to pick it up and shoot a three, and he's got it. Block shot by Ward. Big fella gets it ahead to his Bones. Highland. Bones is going to take it. Coast. One of the great coaches in prep basketball recently stepped down, but trained Corey Douglas well. Long. That comes back. Highland's going to step into another three. He's got it. It's position. Uh, he's going to be a, a key player for them in the 18th season as the backup point guard. Rebound by Jones Brown. There's a long three from Highland. And he <laughs> There's Highland stepping into a three. That one is Willie Jefferson. Well, Highland's going to try another three. He's feeling it now. And he's gets, steals it away. Nice pass ahead. Highland for a third straight three. And he's got it. Three or four lefties yeah. now. Scott. Oh, here comes the run out. Watch out. Head it. Bones Highland oh. is going to lay it up nicely. It's such an interesting game when you look at it at the macro level. Woo! Island trying to turn the corner, goes up. Defense, got to communicate. Lundy at the head of the defense against Highland, gets around him and goes to the... Lundy slipped a couple of times trying to get down court. Highland and open look. Over. Bones Highland, just getting dinged up. Good to see him back out there at the point. Five of the shot clock. Puts it up, and it. Highland, mm, boy. A major part in the outcome of that game. Yeah, he, let me put it to you this way, I'm incredibly proud. Was originally on the docket. Everyone else, one reason or another, had a very high expectations in Logan, Utah, for this young man. Mm, triple zone miss. Try it again from outside. Highland gets another clean look. Yeah. 